Shalom. So the <clears throat> sun burst through after four or five days of rain. And as people who are living off our solar, it was kind of frustrating. Um, yeah, we got a little noise in the background. Don't pay attention to that. It was a little frustrating to not be able to charge up my um, computer and to really scrabble to get enough power to do the phone. But we did it. And I'm kind of... I won't say proud of myself, but I am glad that I did more than just sit around and like turn on the generator and hope everything was going to work out. I made bread on a wood stove. I made cookies on a wood stove. I heated up a lot of our food on that wood stove. And it's not meant to be a cooking stove, but I, I even did little experiments with the thermometer where um, the logs themselves seem to generate around 50 degrees per log. Um, so I actually figured that out too in the course of doing the things that I did and t this morning um, It came as handy because pastor had left two logs in there and when I tried to light them uh, They were not doing a very good job. They were smoldering um, They were smoking. They weren't putting out much heat for two logs um, Actually, it ended up being four that I got in there. There was only about hundred and fifty degrees maybe less going on So I knew something was wrong and uh, I added one log that was dry seasoned and the whole thing took off and went up to 300 degrees. So I knew at least that those logs were not performing at the capability they should have been. And I kind of moved them around, got more air in there and added more fuel so that we got some efficient burning and then it finally did burn efficiently. So uh, it's just sort of a point that even without power, you can take advantage of things. And I used, <laughs> get it? fire power um, to do the cooking and to keep the cottage warm. Um, it didn't really help me in the computer area, but it certainly was still a comfortable living in there. It wasn't like I was, you know, losing my mind. And I was sick during that time too, so I was um, physically uncomfortable that way. But as far as being warm enough and, um, you know, ease of cooking and stuff, it... it the the whole thing worked fine so i just wanted to let you know it's kind of like an after action review and of course once i'm doing the video you can see the clouds here behind me moving in um i'm hoping the sun comes back out i think it will but i haven't had a chance to see how big that cloud is um but i thought you guys would like to know what i learned and uh to know that you can do it too you can you can survive this stuff now i'm not in minnesota and so I would expect if you were in Minnesota and you had things going on, you would share your experiences up there. You don't take my experiences here in a warmer climate and try to do them up there because they're not applicable. You know, you have to figure out what's best up there in Montana, and then I expect you to do a video about it. All right, y'all. Bless you. Shalom.